Hello and welcome to another Lawn Vaughn video. Today we are introducing the brand new set Octopi My Heart and its coordinating dies, so let's go ahead and check it out. First we have the adorable octopus in this set. Then there's a cute little stack of bubbles and a single bubble. We also have a large heart and then this small heart that's really cute to use as a bubble too. There's a little bow tie and or hair bow. And then we have the You Octopi My Heart sentiment and it's separate so you can stack it like this or you can put them all along in a row. And so that's the way I'm gonna stamp it out this time. So I'm gonna pick up those stamps with my block and stamp out that adorable and fun sentiment. And of course, we have an exclamation point to add to the end of that phrase. So I'm gonna be using my Copic markers to color in these octopus. And I'm just using two colors, but with these two colors, I'm really gonna be able to get a nice dynamic look for this octopus. So I've laid down my darker color and now I'm gonna blend out with my lighter marker. And then I'm gonna to touch my light marker to my dark marker to create a medium shade to help me blend those two colors out. Then to end it up, I'm taking the dark marker and putting dots all around the edges of the octopus and it really gives it some nice texture. I'm gonna repeat the same exact idea, but this time using some olive color. So I'm putting down that dark color on top of the light and then blending it out once again. And the same time for this one, I'm gonna do those little dots with the dark marker too. And you can see just the cool detail and texture it gives and you can really see it in person. I'm coloring in the little hair bow there and then just adding a little color to those bubbles. And now I can start to work with the coordinating dies. You can bend them apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate them. I'm gonna line it up with my stamped image, put some post-it note tape on there to hold it in place, run it through my die cut machine, and when it pops out, you'll see it's so cute, and it even cuts the little openings there in the tentacles, which I think is awesome. So here's a look at the little bubbles and the heart that it cuts. And then here you can see that little bow as a hair bow, and then as a bow tie too, which I just think is really fun. I really like it as the bow tie. Now here's a really fun thing that you can do with these tentacles. I'm going to take my scissors and just cut right along that second there from the left tentacle. And I'm going to just create a little slit essentially so that I can have the octopus hold the heart. So you see I'm just cutting really carefully uh, right along that edge, really nice and smooth. That way you can barely tell there's a cut. Now we have an opening and the octopus can hold the heart. And I think that's so cute and it's a really fun way to get a different look with this stamp set. Now next up, I'm gonna be using some Christmas paper. This is the ice blue bouquet paper. And what's awesome about this paper is it's really cute for Christmas, but it also looks like bubbles in the ocean, which is what I'm gonna use it for this time. I'm also trimming down a piece of peacock cardstock, both to three and a half inches square. Now I'm gonna take my little ocean wave border there and just cut off the top of that peacock piece. And then I can layer those pieces together and it looks like the bubbles are coming up off of the ocean, which I think is really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the sentiment and then use a banner die to cut it out. So I'm just gonna line it up and then hold it in place with some low tack tape and run it through my die cut machine and I'll have a perfect sentiment ready for my card. Then I'm gonna add that sentiment on there with some foam dots and then use foam dots for everything else too. Since this is a simple card, I really wanna use foam dots to give it some nice dimension. I'm gonna add that little heart and then take some Let's Polka in the Meadow pink striped paper here and trim it down to three and five eighth inches square. And then I'm gonna cut a card base to match that too. And I love this little pink striped paper for Valentine's. It really is kind of that perfect Valentine's pink. And so this card is super simple. I love that you can make a ton of them. They'd be really cute for kids' Valentine's. I think it'd be so much fun. Now, since I had this cute little card, I thought it would be fun to have a treat box to match it. So I'm gonna use that same ice blue bouquet paper and cut it with the scallop treat box die. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fold along all of the score lines that the die has created for me on two different pieces. So I'll fold there the base and now the top of the box also. And then I can start working on assembling it. So I'm gonna add some score tape, which is some nice strong tape, to those little tabs on both of the pieces and then to the base of one of the pieces. I can remove that liner tape and then line the two bases up. And I'm actually gonna stop right at this point because it's easier to decorate the box like this than it is when it's all formed. 
So I want this to match the card, so I've taken some Peacock cardstock again and cut it to three inches wide, and then I'm going to die cut it with that same ocean wave border so that it has a really similar look to that card. And I'm going to layer that piece right on, and then take two octopus there and uh, and with some foam tape and add those on, and now I can go ahead and start to form the box. So I peeled off all that liner tape, and I'm going to line up all of the edges of the box, forming the box. And then I can go ahead and close it shut by holding the two top pieces together and then fitting those ends right into the slits that the die has created. Now I'm going to add another little heart there to the top just to match the card. And then I'm going to cut a tag here. This is a tiny tag with a heart shape out of that same pink stripe paper. And then stamp it with a tiny tag saying stamp, which is the with love. And then I'm also going to use the medium bow from put a bow on it and cut that same pink paper again. I'm going to roll those edges around my pen here just to give them a nice kind of fluffy bow look. And then I can add some tape to the middle and fold down the left side and then tape to the middle again, and I'll fold down that right side. These really are easy to form once you've got it going. Now I can add tape to the little tab that's sticking out of the bottom there and wrap that around to give the bow a nice finished look. Then I'll add some adhesive and attach those bow ends to the bow, and then it's ready to add to the box. So I'm just gonna open the box up and add that right on there, and I love that it's tying in the colors from the coordinating card. I'm going to stamp the to and from there on the back of my tag and then use some Sweetheart Lawn Trimmings to tie that on. And I love the Sweetheart Lawn Trimmings because it's red, pink, and white all twined together and it's just so perfect for Valentine's Day. And so here you can see this cute box where you can write your message on it. It's so sweet, perfect for little chocolates or candies or maybe even a little gift for Valentine's Day. And then I love seeing the card and the box together. They're so cute and coordinating and I just think it would make anybody's day. Now next up, I just had to make a slider card because this little guy just has to swim through the ocean. So I've used a stitched rectangle to cut some craft and peacock cardstock. And then now I'm going to go ahead and cut a nice sandy bottom for my ocean. And then I can stamp the You Octopi My Heart sentiment right there at the bottom. And then I'm going to take my Mermaid For You stamp set. And I actually have a little bag in here with a bunch of pre-colored and pre-stamped images because I love doing this so that I can put cards together whenever I want. And I had a ton of pre-stamped coral. So I went ahead and lined those up in the card and I just love how colorful and pretty it is. And now I'm going to line up my slide on over die, run it through my die cut machine, and now I finally have my slider track all cut. I'm going to lay all of these pieces there down at the bottom and now I can start working on my slider mechanism. So first I'm going to add the heart to my cute little octopus so he's holding the heart and then I'm going to double up some foam adhesive. For sliders I always love to double up my foam adhesive. It really helps it work better and I'm going to put foam everywhere making sure that it's not in the way of the penny but so that the card is still really supported. Then I can add some foam tape to my penny there. And I'm going to use my EK Success Powder Tool here to remove any stick from the side of that foam so that the penny moves really well in the track. And I'm going to do the same thing here on the back, on those little foam pieces and also in the track to help that penny slide really well. I'll peel, peel off that liner tape and then add the octopus right on there and he's going to be able to slide in the ocean now. Next up, I'm going to peel up all of that liner tape and then attach another peacock cardstock piece to the back so that that track looks nice and seamless on the card. And then I'm going to take more of that pink stripe paper that I just love and trim it down to four by five and a quarter and create a coordinating card base for that. Then I can line that paper right onto the card base and then I'll be able to put some adhesive on the back of my slider mechanism there that we already created and attach that on there. And I think it's just so cute. It's so sweet. And I just love seeing him swim around in the ocean. So here's a final look at this card and then all of the cards together. I just love this cute little mini set and I cannot wait to see what you guys create with it. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.